Hey, welcome back, it's Kajal. And for those who don't know, I did a consulting graduate scheme at a big four firm. And I wanna share back my reflections on it, my experience, and yeah, just give you the down low. So a big four firm is essentially made up of PwC, EY, Deloitte, and KPMG. And these are the biggest consulting firms in the world. And by big, I don't just mean by people, I mean also by revenue. Big four firms also do things such as financial advisory, which is a little bit like banking, tax, accounting, audit, assurance, you name it. They do a hell of a lot. But big four firms are also really well known for being accountants. No, 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 no. I just want to break that for a minute because actually, if you look at some of the statistics, companies like Deloitte, their biggest revenue drivers in the UK anyway, is from consulting, not from accounting. So let's just kill that notion that big four firms are accountants, okay? Thanks. And because of this, they need tons of graduates and I was one of those keen beans, yep. So in the UK, graduates start in September. And let me just tell you a little bit about my induction process so there were two parts to my induction process the first part was you know two weeks going away somewhere you know we went to Cotswolds and essentially you meet everyone from you know all parts of consulting that could be from actuarial consulting it could be from human capital technology strategy digital consulting and we all came together there was like 200 to 300 people all in one hotel room for two weeks and the first week was basically upskilling us on basically everything we need to know to get ready for consulting and as as a physicist, I really need this because this girl had no idea about like business stuff. So even making presentations and, you know, even being able to use Excel, even being able to communicate, we learned all of this in the first week. And the second week was kind of like a, hey, let's put these skills into practice and go on to a project together. And it was a little bit competitive, a little bit intense, but a lot, a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of team spirit, there's loads of rooms kind of battling against each other in a really good way. And yeah, there were socials in the evenings, got to know people. But one thing, don't be those people who get super drunk and end up waking up in ditches. And the second induction was specifically for the type of consulting you sat in. So all the human capital consultants went off in one direction, the strategy consultants went off in another, and I joined the technology consulting graduate scheme and I ended up going to learn a little bit more about the different types of technologies, you know, how it all came together, how to think from strategy all the way to the end in implementation. And it was really helpful because it filled all the gaps for me. And this whole process was great because even though I was a physicist, by the end of the induction, I ended up basically being at the same level as those who did business or those who did te technology. And we all had the same level of thinking. The other thing we did on the induction was professional certifications depending on which area you sat in so some people did SEMA some people did BCS but the one thing I'd love to say is that big four firms like they do training like no other firm they pay for your certifications um, it's quite fun actually because you're all together just chilling like a bit like uni and the amount of training courses you can do as you go through like even today four years in I still do certifications. I'm doing a coaching certification still now. So there's so many certifications and training you can do. They put so much emphasis on personal development. So that's a big pro about the big four firm because they just have loads of money to spend on it. So we might as well rinse it. Consulting is slightly different compared to other, you know, big four service lines. So you don't need to have a certification to be certified in consulting. So I know for accountants, you need to get the ACA, but in consulting, it doesn't work like that. You know, CMR, BCS, you don't even you look at it again, you don't use it again. So really there's no point. And that's why a lot of big four firms have started to scrap their certifications. So at the end of the four to five weeks of training, you find out about your first project and people get disappointed by this or people get really happy about this. I was happy because I was the only person who got an international project in Switzerland for my first project. So I was super lucky, but there's nothing to be scared about your first project. I firstly, um, your first project doesn't define your career in your big four firm. And secondly, the people that you join with, they are so nice. Like the people I joined with, they helped me. No question was stupid. I could speak to them like friends. We ended up having socials together after work and it was just really nice where it felt like, it felt like a family. And I know it's weird to say this about work. I could ask them about anything. I, it was just really easy to work with. But they were also very blunt. In, if I got something wrong, I got something wrong. And that's how I wanted it to be because then I would be improving and learning myself. In a way, joining the big four felt like I never left university in a good way, because minus all the drama, because they have so many clubs and societies. So I went to sailing events. I went to salsa events. I even got free samosas at Diwali events, which was great. So 
Through this all, I made genuine friendships, not colleagues. And I never thought that when I joined a big four firm because for me, work was work. I had to be someone different at work and that's how I thought about it, but definitely not the case. And I made genuine friendships, which would last me a lifetime. So yeah, really happy about that. And another great positive and pro for me was that the career progression in the big four is kind of guaranteed and there is clear criteria, clearly explained, a clearly well-defined process on what you need to do to get promoted and when this happens. So a lot of firms don't even have that clear criteria set out. So I know that, you know, in a couple of years, I'm going to get promoted. In a couple more years, I will definitely get promoted. And uh, it's kind of guaranteed. So that's the another big pro about the career progression in Big Four is really great, really well defined, and you just know what you need to do. You also work with some really big names, some incredible clients, and some really big projects. And the impact that you make is mad, okay? So, you know, obviously the consulting firms have done a lot in terms of the vaccine rollout. Yes, some of that press is bad, but at the end of the day, the impact that you've made to even roll out one vaccine, you've set, you've helped to save potentially a life, okay? I'm over dramatizing it, but the variety of work is also incredible. So you can go from doing public sector work with the government and defense work to doing financial services work to doing retail work. So there is something for everything in a big four firm and it's a great place to start, especially when you don't know what you want to do and when you want to build up a different set of skills. But talking about skills, the bad thing about the big four is that in my consulting graduate scheme, I there was no real well defined process to rotate. So I was kind of stuck in one specific area and it was up to me to be able to try out different projects in different areas. Whereas the graduate scheme itself didn't really give you the opportunity to rotate across different areas and get a really good broad skill and good foundational understanding of the different areas of strategic thinking, of doing operations work, of doing technology work. And I really think that for me, in my opinion, that every consultant should go through that basic training and then specialize up. And a lot of us don't know what we want to do when we join the big four. So getting that experience allows us to kind of make up our decision as well. So big four consulting graduate schemes, I think can box you. So you may want to move to a different area. It is slightly difficult. You have to do a lot of people talking, coffee chats, doing extracurricular activities in your own time. It takes a long time. It doesn't happen in the next month. It may take six months to be able to move to a different area, try out different projects, prove to them that they may also want to because at the end of the day, the partner has to accept you into that area. And let me be real, big four firms are very political. Now, I'm not saying you're a number, but at the end of the day, big four firms, they care about their objective is profit. So let's say there's a project which is coming up which you really wanna try, but it's happening in two weeks. You may not be allowed to stay for two weeks to try that project because those two weeks is a loss of profit for the big four firm. So they may put you onto a project which you may not want to go onto. So there definitely is timing and politics and things like that to also worry about as well when you're in a big four firm. In terms of what you'll be doing, it's very dependent. I know you're gonna hate me, but each team, even within your big four firm, does things differently. They have different methodologies, use different tools. And I would say that in my big four graduate scheme, I ended up over two years having five different projects with each project having a different team. So the amount of people I met and worked with was very large, which was a good thing. But on these projects, I ended up doing research. I ended up making slides look prettier. I ended up um, creating storyboards and structure presentations, creating presentations to support conversations. and. I would say majority of the time, the senior management were the ones doing the presenting and the talking to clients, which can get a little bit frustrating because obviously we're like, like budding to get that responsibility. But the positive about that is that it's a very safe space to fail. Because there's so much senior management on your teams, you know, there's so much support. Everything you do gets checked. Everything that you do gets reviewed. So even if you make mistakes, it doesn't come onto you. It comes onto that senior management because they should be reviewing your work. They're kind of hand-holding you and do, giving you directions on what to do and the senior management are really great with work-life balance and that bring, brings me on to this next topic around work-life balance it all starts with leadership and i would say no project is nine to five there is no single project which i finished at five or no single project which i've started at nine but there is projects where you end up working really late like 20 percent of the time like 11, 12 p.m. But also you just finish at 6, 7 p.m. You know, otherwise. So consulting is definitely not a nine to five job, but what it is flexibility. You 
don't need to ask for holidays like auditors do. You can literally go to the dentist, you can clock off work a little bit early and just pick it up whenever you want to pick it up unless there's a pressing deadline. So the flexibility that you get in big four firms is great. There's always also, because you're working in quite big teams, there's always someone to just pick up the work if you just need to have another commitment, for instance. So the good thing about working in the big four is one of those as well. So if you're not sure with what to do with your career or just get bored, Big Four is definitely a great place to try out different types of work. It's also a great place to get lots of training, um, loads of transferable skills. I definitely do think this is one of the biggest reasons why I chose it because if I get unemployed, I know that I will always be able to get another job because I have Big Four on my CV now. It opens so many doors and the flexibility that you get being able to actually have a life alongside consulting um, and you know working for clients which are really demanding, it's incredible and the support and it really does feel like a nice family. There's definitely some bad points which I've mentioned throughout this video. But honestly, I would honestly say that if, you know, if you're thinking about Big Four, apply. There's no harm. Worst that you can do is say no to them. So yeah, hope this video helped about, you know, thinking about consulting and a Big Four firm for a graduate scheme. And if you're interested in more content like this, please do make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you later for more consulting content. Toodles!